So unfortunately, it's been a very long time since I did this, uh, about three years almost now. But uh, it was a very sloped basement in our house. It had the typical drain in the center. Uh, we wanted to make it a nice flat office space. So first I put a bunch of the really cheap concrete down. Worked to try to not have to spend so much on the self-leveler. And I had to put a block there on the door and also on the register vent there because it was... It was like a few inches uh, that we had to account for. And here I put down the primer so that the self-leveler will stick Ooh, good. Move forward first. Move forward. It. Oh, everywhere. Oh my goodness, I'm in the way. Okay, so now is the part where we got a, uh, I think, 20 bags of gravel. Another thing to just make it cheaper since the self-leveling stuff's like uh, $28 a bag. I think I used 20, uh, I think it was 20 bags, it might have been 40, I couldn't find the records on it, like I said, it's been a long time, but, and then here I am kind of just checking, uh, you can see the difference in slope that we have to cover, that's why I'm using the gravel, uh, and then kind of using a the laser there and the level and these little boards here to kind of get an idea of exactly how much we do need and now on to the fun part where we're uh, actually mixing up the um, stuff it ran a hose right through the window and just ran it because you don't have a lot of time to work with this stuff we started off with 10 bags here and I actually started off with my cordless drill and ended up going and buying uh, a corded drill I went through one with Walmart and it actually just burned out really quick and then I bought a little nicer one from Lowe's and that one still works to this day. I mix silicone all sorts of things with it. But uh, basically just dump the powder in the bucket, get the exact amount of water. We had a bucket with a nice line on it, tell us how much water to put in. Mix it up, I think it was about three minutes or so, you mix it up and then just start dumping it. So I did get some uh, seeping under the things, very little seeped into the other little room which had like our washer and dryer and I didn't really deal with the um, the levelness of the walking into the washer dryer room, I kind of just left it there. Um, but if you're really worried about that you could um, do some caulking or something on the, the joints of the trim and stuff to try to make sure none of the stuff oozes through. But I wasn't too worried about it. It didn't cause any problems, really. So uh, we did about 10 bags here. And then I uh, had to get 10 bags later. I didn't actually even film that part because it just got kind of tiring to just put it down in the first place. He said, I think we used 20, but we may have used 40 bags. Which they were like 28 apiece. Um, somewhere around a thousand dollars or so to do the whole the whole basement uh, maybe 1400 with the flooring that we put we put this bamboo laminate flooring down but uh, worked pretty nice gave us a nice extra room um, we did actually end up selling that house um, I think the next year and I think the room did add quite a bit of value but add a lot of value while we lived there that's for sure it gave us a nice little office um, I've used this stuff before in my warehouse too, works pretty nice. But uh, here's uh, putting down the flooring. And actually, this flooring is very hard to put down. My wife seemed to have a very good uh, technique to it, so I kind of just let her take uh, the rest of that and put it in there. And there was a spot up in the corner, is like a drain thing that I had to cut out for. So starting it out was like the hardest once you had it sort of going it wasn't too bad but our floors definitely still wasn't perfectly level didn't really spend the time to do that but it worked out pretty good and here are some pictures of it all done with our furniture set up as an office there's my desk right there straight ahead the treadmill and then my wife's desk was uh, over around the corner and my kid would kind of use the desk in between us both. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. Was can't say it was the funnest project ever, but it worked out nice.
probably be the last time I ever do something like that, but have fun. <laughs>